So, hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are at the sand track, which we are going to map. This video is about our geotech module, which basically sets the GPS data and height on the picture when we're flying and when we're mapping a certain location. That's quite unique, as most of the cameras don't have this GPS function that it can store both GPS data height uh, on the same picture. Uh, mostly it needs to be added later on in the picture and we can do this all together when it's lent, it's right there on your SD card. It saves you a lot of time. So next to the George, we use the, our RTK ground station. It's a very nice ground station with a embedded it computer, uh, which runs on Windows. We have an internal battery and the extra is that we have the RTK, of course. The RTK antenna is now on the roof of the truck. You can basically position that antenna anywhere you want. Uh, but as you, see, as you see, it's very compact as well. Easy to take with you on a mission. So now <clears throat> we want to start the mission. There's no mission in the drone yet, so we're going to write the mission in the software on the computer. This is basically, we basically set up a window which we want to map the certain area you want to inspect or map. Um, while selecting that window, it automatically calculates the mission it needs to fly, as well the points of making the photos. Um, so you don't need to carry, worry about that. So we just install that, select the camera. When selecting the camera, it knows how many points we need to make a photo of, and it will do the mission lens, and we got all the data we need. So the mission is loaded, pre-flight checks are done, we can fire up. Take off. Motors on. So everything is under control, we're mapping at the moment, we're making a couple hundred of photos. Um, this mapping module is of course not only adaptable or combinable with the A7 cameras, we can also do the RX1, RX1s or Phase 1 cameras. Um, at that still, we're still with those cameras we have the full capabilities of adjusting parameters, adjusting and controlling the whole camera while flying. That's a very nice combination, of course. If you need to adjust a certain parameter when you're up in the air, you don't need to land, but we can just adjust it from the ground. So you might be wondering why we don't use a fixed wing drone for doing these mapping applications. The reason why for this specific application we use Multirotor or Zoe or Neo is that we uh, can fly in a more precise, dynamic uh, area. Um, you can imagine we can make sharp, cor sharp corners and avoid certain dangerous areas where a fixed wing needs a bigger kind of curve to basically not fly over that certain area. And the other extra, of course, is that we can handle a lot of wind. So even if it's a very windy day, we can still do the mapping inspection where the fixed wing is mostly a downside of that system. So, so the drone has reached its last waypoint. It now comes back in the return to lounge. There it comes. So guys, we're back at the office. We took out the SD card, we put it back in the computer. We just opening the files now and we're gonna review it. Here you will see all the pictures we took. The unique part about these pictures, what I've told you previously before, is that on each picture we have the GPS coordinates on it. So if I'm going through it, I will just show you. There he is. So next to the general and all these other maps, we have GPS right there, which makes it very unique and helpful, which saves you a lot of time, of course, in the end, as normally you have to stitch these together. But every picture has its own GPS info. So. I will drag all the pictures into the software and from there we're gonna create a 3D map. So we've loaded all the images in the software program. The software program tool we're using at the moment is Aerobot Mapping Tool. It's a preferred partner from us, so that's the reason why we're using this specific program and it's very easy to use. You can either use uh, AgriSoft or Pix4D 
they all work the same way. Uh, but this is just quick and easy. So by going to the 3D map, it took about an hour. Um, and right here, we've got the end result you guys are all looking for. Um, this is the map where we can do all the measurements, the review, calculations and measure basically any obstacle or sandbag we want. So thank you guys for watching. I think we have shown you guys how easy it is to map with the Zoe or Neo in combination with our mapping tool. Um, basically, that's it. This is how the operation works and I hope to see you guys in another movie.